Hello, I'm a VX Toy Cat and welcome back to the video. So let's talk about things in Minecraft you've probably never spotted. These are things that are in front of you all the time that although, you know, you might think like, I see everything in Minecraft. I see a fire, I see a dollar sign, I see everything that happens. The truth is there are lots of things that are happening right in front of you all the time that you're just never seeing. And I will warn you, once you see these things, you will probably never unsee them. So just a fair warning before you watch today's video about things you have not spotted yet. So hopefully you do all enjoy it. You can like the video if you do because it helps out the channel a lot. And if you do want to see more videos about secrets in Minecraft, again, these take some time to find, but I hope you, uh, Again, you're not going to enjoy it, but you're going to have your mind changed uh, permanently, I think, especially by this first one right here, which is to do with the player character. So as you can see, I'm an Ocelot, but you might be a Steve. You might be any skin in Minecraft, but you've always got the fundamental of a body, a head, and two legs, and two arms, right? And one of the things that a lot of people have spotted, but I didn't spot before this, was that if you look at the arms, you can actually see that the uh, you know they're moving very slowly back and forth, which means if you have items in those arms, like let's say you have some arrows in there, then the arrows are going to be moving very, very slowly, left and right, and left and right and stuff. And this is something you don't ever realize because if you're in first person like most of us are then as you can see yeah my, my arrow is just there it's always going to be there and that's kind of that but if you look at yourself in third person your arms are always moving but even crazier than this because again this is fairly common for people who play in third person even if you do play in third person all the time you might not have spotted that your legs are always moving even when you're standing exactly still like I am right now I'm not touching my controller in the slightest you can see how your legs are very slowly moving by something like a quarter of a pixel back and forth and it's really 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 nuts because you can see that means that in Minecraft you are always moving at a very tiny bit, a little bit back and forth, over and over and over again. And the crazy thing about the Ocelot skin in particular is you can see that actually affects the lighting of underneath the skin. So you can see how like uh, on the right leg there, it's going from back to forth to back to forth, and it's actually changing what's going on with the uh, lighting there. So yeah, uh, if you don't know your Minecraft legs, or at least one of the legs, I mean, it's hard to be certain if both of them are, but uh, at, le at least one of your Minecraft legs is moving at any one given time, and it's pretty nuts. In fact, yeah, in this case, it actually does look like it is just the right leg, which is confusing. But yeah, that's a thing um, that happens uh, with your Minecraft skin. It's, it's literally not even in front of your eyes, it's where your eyes are attached to, the body your eyes are attached to, it's your Minecraft character who's always moving, and you've probably never realized it this whole time. But speaking of things you've probably never realized this whole time, uh, when you do walk around in Minecraft, it's normal stuff. Your body moves like this, it's a little bit weird in my opinion, but you move like that and that's fine. And when you sprint, you have these little block particles coming off you. Uh, you can only see them really from behind like this, but you have these little block particles that, again, uh, it's a good way to spot other people if they're running, or if you run in a circle, you can just about see them. But yeah, basically these block particles are mostly unimportant. I think the idea is like, oh yeah, you're running so fast over the dirt you just make it come up but they are relevant because if you run over certain blocks you'll get different color uh, particles so these ones are brown because you're digging up mud but if you run over ice for instance like I'm going to do right now you can see how it changes to be little little chips of ice that are going up it's always the same amount in the same uh, thing but the color seems to be determined based on the block you run over so if you want to see some really pretty ones here's some orange some greens some red, uh, bl purple red and then blue uh, for various different blocks as you can see we've got like terracotta glazed terracotta wool concrete powder and concrete uh, even though they're all different blocks, they all give up the same idea of like changing the color of the particles behind you. So the reason I say this is because even if you put carpet over these blocks, like you can see right here, uh, that you're still going to have those exact same colors. So this is kind of a two in one. It's like, first of all, the fact that you have these little block particles, but second of all, it's the fact that even with white carpet, you can see it comes out this color anyway, and it's much clearer to see it and it looks way better. So if you want to make people look beautiful when they run, put carpet over some nice looking blocks and you can do this, which again, I really love the effect. Uh, you can make, I guess you could make like a rainbow of it. You could have like your entire house if you're running somewhere be like this and you can just do fancy stuff underneath the carpet but on the other side of things you could also use this as a clever way to work out what's underneath the block you're on so if someone does have a carpet in their house if you want to know what's under the carpet but it's too rude to break it because <laughs> that's that happens all the time in minecraft uh, what you can actually do is you can just sprint on it and you'll see what block is underneath there because you can see kind of clearly like at least get a good idea of what these blocks are because it is the exact same texture of the block you're running over so yeah fun fact you might not realize let's move on to the third thing you probably haven't spotted in minecraft which is to do with leaf so, or leads, but yeah, let's call them leashes for now, because basically uh, if we spawn in a chicken, using a little egg like this, you can see if we attach the lead to the chicken, you might think, oh yeah, it attaches the chicken to my hand, and that's kind of like that. And when you do it like this, you can see, oh yeah, it looks roughly like that, right? But if you look really closely at what's happening here, the lead doesn't ever touch your hand. The lead is this floating, like, you know, weird set of pixels that go from vaguely you to vaguely the chicken. But as you can see, it doesn't actually go to the chicken itself. It goes to like, a, maybe like two pixels above the chicken, as you can see right there. Uh, and not only does it go above about two uh, pixels above the chicken, but it also then doesn't att attach to your hand entirely. There's this big gap there, which is really, really, really weird the moment you notice it. So let's show that again from first person. Just show you that it gets even weirder like this because it's just not attached to your model. It looks good in uh, first person, but in third person, it just doesn't attach. And this means other people see some very, very weird things. Look, it's, it, even if you try to make it attach, it just doesn't let you, which is the weirdest thing in my opinion. So yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the things about Minecraft you've never seen. The fact that leads don't attach to 
the mobs you're trying to put them on, which is uh, wacky if you ask me. But even wackier than that, again, this is one that you, uh, it, it's not something that comes up all the time, I'll admit, but when you see it, it's a pretty crazy optical illusion, because here is an upside down chicken. So first of all, they have 2D legs, you might not have ever realized that, but second of all, if you look at this uh, upside down chicken at just the right angle, I'll put it on screen to make it a little bit easier in image form, because this chicken's going to move around a lot, it seems, but if you uh, have an upside down chicken, uh, then you can actually see inside the chicken. The reason for this is because of how uh, isometric work, uh, isometric like things work, so you can see what's meant to be the outside edge of the chicken becomes the inside edge, and then you can see inside the entire thing, which is really, really weird that like, there's this moment, again, it might take you some time, so like, really look at this image, try and like, see it inside out, like, look at all the angles, uh, it might take, you know, it might take minutes for it to pop for you, but if you just keep looking at this chicken for long enough, then you'll realize that eventually, uh, you know, it'll pop, it'll go inside out, and you'll be able to see two, uh, you know, two things there, you'll be able to see either the inside out chicken, or you'll be able to see the upside down one, which is really, really strange, the fact that there is like that inside out view into the inside of the chicken, but it's something you can do with an upside down chicken. Again, I love these kind of optical illusions of Minecraft, and uh, I found that one from Scrancy, so I figured I should. Uh, I figured I should mention that one because it's a really, really fun one uh, that you might want to mention. So uh, let's move on to the uh, final one here, which is one that I've shown off before, but I still am haunted to it by this day. So this is your final warning. Uh, you'll never be able to see the black cat in a different way after this video because if you look at the black cat, as you can see, looks like it looks pretty normal, right? Like, oh yeah, this is how black cats are. They have, uh, you know, the, the, it's a cat that's black and he has green eyes. However, if you look really closely at the eyes and you think of instead of the black thing being a divider between the eyes, think of that as the pupil of the eye, and then these are like, this is like one giant green thing, and you can see the cat is actually a cyclops. It has just one eye, and the moment you start seeing it, it becomes really hard to see the cat with two eyes again. Yep, all I can see is the one-eyed cat again, and uh, yeah, if you've ever wanted to see a cyclops cat, then this is the thing, but it does mean that after this, you can't really trust the uh, the green cat, uh, sorry, the black cat quite so much, because it's a cyclops cat. Who can trust cyclops cats? Not me, that's for sure. So I hope you did all enjoy this video. I hope uh, that you did see some things that you can't unsee, if that's what you were looking for. Or maybe you just learned some weird facts about Minecraft, with the running over the carpet, the, the movement thing, because that helps you hide a little bit worse. And also the leashes stuff, I hope something in here helped you. If it did, you can like the video and let me know. It helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like this sort of video. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Make sure you bell me too, because it's good for you. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.